The other thing I want to talk about is the difference between consistency and persistency. These are two different factors, consistency and persistency. We talked about what consistency is, right? Constantly following the same, adhering to the same rules, principles, forms, et cetera. What about persistency? Okay. Persistency is continue to continue steadfastly in some state, purpose, course of action, or the like, especially in spite of opposition. Okay. I'm going to say something that you may never have heard before. Winners need consistency. Losers need persistency, right? Financially, if I'm solvent and I'm building wealth and I'm above water, I need, per, I need consistency. I need to keep doing the same things. I need to study every day, right? And, and the reason why is because I've already done it successfully. I've already studied. I've already saved money. I've already earned. I've already done all of the stuff that got me solvent and gave me greater financial freedom. I need to be consistent in continuing to do those things. If I'm insolvent and I'm losing with money, I don't need consistency. Consistency is the reason why I'm losing because I practice the same behaviors over and over. I need persistency, right? Which means that I need to continue steadfastly in some state, some purpose or course of action. I need to change. I need a different purpose. I need a different goal. And I need to continue steadfastly, especially in spite of opposition. Okay, what is opposition? Opposition means obstacles. All of the things that are going to try and derail me because they will, right? The, the car is going to break as soon as I start my PFP course, right? My, my, my friend is going to tell me how bad life insurance is as soon as I sign up for a sacred account. I'm going to have a gigantic tax payment come up as soon as it's time to, to, to fund my 401k, my solo 401k, right? Those are oppositions. So the question is, do I continue steadfastly and have persistence, continuing to push, continuing to work, continuing to grind and get in the right direction and no longer be consistent with the bad habits and make the break and change over to the good ones? That's persistency, okay? As a winner, I'm not gonna say you don't need persistency, but it's easier because you, you, you already know what to do, right? Like I said, it's the same stuff, earn, save, invest. All of this is gonna be over and over and over redundant. If I already got to the point of you know, having some success, it means to some degree, I already know what to do. I don't need persistency, I need consistency versus if I don't know what to do, I've been practicing the wrong behaviors, I have the wrong habits, it's causing me to lose with money, I need persistency. Okay, this was a mindset shift for me because I thought consistency was the end all be all, right? Tortoise in the hare, slow and steady wins the race. Okay, well, what if it's slow and steady with bad habits or going in the wrong direction? It's not going to win the race. Okay, and if I'm accustomed to that, the change itself is going to be difficult. Contrary to popular belief, we've all heard it takes 21 days to build a habit, right? That's completely false. There's studies that have been done that tell us that it takes 66 days at a minimum and one year at a maximum. And the average is somewhere in between that in order for us to build a habit or break a habit, which means if I am losing with money and I'm trying to exercise persistency, this is the reason why the big three challenge journal is 90 days. I believe for most of us, if we do this 90 days in a row, every single page over and over, and we never skip a day, it will turn into a behavior and we will have the persistency to get 90 days into it. Once we're there, we'll also have developed the consistency to keep going. Right? It's like pushing up, pushing a boulder up the hill. That's persistent. Up the hill is persistent. That's where all of the effort is. That's where I want to quit. That's where everything is hard. Down the hill is the easy part. Then it's just about maintaining it in the same direction, making sure that I don't wreck, that it doesn't go in the wrong way, that it doesn't fall off the hill. Right. So that's really the focus here. Now, here's the thing is winners must maintain successful knowledge and behavior. This is more of a maintenance stage, consistency. Right. Which means if I haven't got it there, then I can't maintain because I don't have right? But if I have it, then I'm maintaining it. Losers must change unsuccessful knowledge and behavior. If you're wondering what does Wealth Dynamics do, how can we actually help you? Number one, if you haven't gotten a copy of my book, Blueprint to Financial Freedom, grab one now. You can get that down in the uh, comments in the video. You can get the link for that. Number two, we do a free course on Fridays on personal finance. Okay, you can also get the link for the description there too. And then finally, if you have a desire to start getting help walking through these different phases toward financial freedom, book a call with my team. Go to our website, set up a call, and we're able to help out and answer questions. That's how we can help you. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you turn notifications on and I will talk to you guys on the next video.